What's up everyone? So last tutorial, what we looked at was building a list view adapter to enable us to make a custom list view item, uh, which we did, which uh, looked a lot like the simple list item that Android supplies. Uh, but what it did give us was a foundation to build onto to start creating more uh, custom list views items, uh, which is what we're gonna go ahead and do in this tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to go back into our list view row designer file and now we're going to want to add some more text views to this and I'm pretty lazy so I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste each one <laughs> and go ahead and just change the text so that you know which one's which uh, this is going to be age and we're going to do gender and we're going to want to change the linear layout to not stack on each other it's children which is what it's going to want to do right here and instead we're going to change it to horizontal so that it stacks left to right and notice that when we do that though they disappear and that's because the text view of the first one is set to match parent for its width so it's essentially hogging up all the space for its other siblings. Um, and th there's a really easy way to fix that. And what you do is you specify the weight, which in this case we can set to 25. Uh, then we'll, we want to do that to each text view. And that's basically saying take up 25% of your parent, which is the linear layout. And we can further specify that to set the parents with weight sum to 100. So this takes up 25%, 25%, and so on. And you'll see that now it's perfectly uh, laid out. And that helps a lot too with different screen sizes as well, just an FYI on that. So if you have different screen sizes or different height, different width, which is it's going to be inevitable to avoid that. Uh, that helps out with that to properly align stuff no matter what the screen size is so it's a good practice to use so now that that's done okay so um, oops don't want to forget to change our IDs so let's change that to last name txt age and we'll do gender okay so we are done with that close that and the next thing we want to do is we're going to want to change our list view adapter class. And uh, take note as well that we were taking in a string as the base uh, for the template, but we're no longer going to do that because now we have four text views instead of just one, where one we can get away with just using a string, whereas now we have four. So we need to start, we need to actually create a class to hold each one. So what we'll do is we'll create a class and we'll call it person and person is simply just going to hold all of our data. So last name, and we'll just make properties. And uh, I did last name first, so sorry about that. I'm going crazy I guess <laughs> uh, first name and age and the last property is going to be our gender get set there all right so that's all that person class is going to be used for so we want to go into our list view adapter and specify that so that we are going to be passing in a person and basically wherever you see string uh, just replace it with person string and finally this is going to be first name so this is one now text view where we need to do this for the rest of them so txt so last name Row find view by ID text view 
So resource and last name. And then we want to set last name's text to the current position of the items. And there we go. We want to do the same thing for our age text view. Right, set the text of that to the age property, and we will do that for gender as well. Text view, and grab that. And then we want to set its text finally. And gender. All right. Let's fix that real quick. All right. So there we have it. So for each row, it's going to set all of its properties and return the row. So that's good to go. Now we changed uh, our items that we passed in, so now we need to change it here as well. So now it now is a list of persons, and that's gonna get changed as well. And then now we just need to add people to our persons list. So new person, and that's gonna be first name equals, I don't know, Joe. Last name equals uh, Smith. He is 22. And gender is male. Okay. And then we'll do that, I don't know, three more times. Change this to Tom. Tom Tom, which is 35, and Sally, Sally Susan, because first name and last name are the same, or just a first name for both, <laughs> uh, is 88, and female. All right, so we've added our people to our persons list. We are passing it to our list view adapter and attaching this adapter to our custom adapter. Let's go ahead and attempt to build this. Pull it up. All right. And there it is. So each one got its properties and we set it over the list view adapter. And there it is. And if you're, if you're familiar with uh, Java, you can see that it's very similar to Java, the way it's done, just a few things that are different on C-sharp, but essentially the same, pretty straightforward. Uh, and if you're new to it, hopefully you understand that. If you didn't watch my uh, first few tutorials before this one, go ahead and watch those ones. That's those two build on this one. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, See you next time.